I'm Greg Ogilvie. I'm an oncologist and an internist here at California Veterinary Specialist Angel Care Cancer Center. So cancer, as we mentioned, is the number one most curable of all uh, chronic diseases. Your veterinarian cures uh, cancer on a daily basis. They identify the cancer, they remove it completely, and usually that's the last you ever hear about that. So cancer is the most curable of all chronic diseases. The diagnostic process often begins uh, with your veterinarian. They can take a sample from uh, the, the mass and then send that in to a pathologist and that uh, gives a beginning of an understanding of what is it. And then it's the big question of where is it. And so by doing additional diagnostics, for example, either x-rays, ultrasound, CT scan or MRI can then determine where the tumor is so that it can be targeted, it can be defeated in the body and therefore enhance health and wellness uh, for the pet uh, and, uh, and then of course for people because it's the same for us. What we do here at Angel Care Cancer Center at California Veterinary Specialists, we take the more challenging cases. And so those are the cases that ha require some things that need to be done in addition. That it can include immunotherapy, things that can stimulate the immune system to attack the cancer cells. Number two is it can use anti-cancer medicines to be able to defeat cancer. We can use what's called targeted therapy. These are unique new drugs that, that actually uh, penalize or cripple a cancer cell by attacking it molecularly, at, not by poisoning them, but rather by inhibiting an enzyme or a protein that, uh, that would uh, then make them unable to grow. Thirdly, there are different types of energy therapies that we can use, including radiation therapy. And the neat part about that is that we have really advanced technology such as CyberKnife. CyberKnife is a highly focused form of radiation therapy that can destroy the cancer but not hurt the normal tissues. So it is, it is literally a radio surgery. It's a way to treat the disease without necessarily requiring surgery and therefore it's great for things like brain tumors and so forth uh, that uh, really were difficult to treat prior to that. Yep, they're all available for people, but the thing that we do here is we develop new and safe therapies that we show is effective for treatment of dogs and cats and other species with cancer and then translate that over to people to be able to benefit all species including human beings. So your dog, your cat, oftentimes can benefit the world as a whole by entering clinical trials to allow the development of new, effective, safe therapies that can benefit cancer therapy for us all. Yeah, I think that, that uh, an important thing to realize is that uh, going to a place that is, has comprehensive uh, cancer care is really important for, you, for yourself as a person or for your animal. If you have a, a surgeon that works by themselves, they're gonna think more mostly of surgery. But if you have a unified team that provides therapy from many different directions, then they just do the right thing for the patient without any bias on the different types of therapy. So the, the cancer is, is like any other disease. Uh, there are some that should be treated with, with medicines, others that should be treated with surgery, others, others treated, for example, with with uh, radiation or other therapies or immunotherapy. So finding a place that does all of those things can enhance uh, cure rates.